another episode of some wild things. We're gonna go out and harvest some devil's club and um, elderberries. You know what? First things first. So we're out here in the frosted, frozen wilderness. The snow hasn't come yet, but it's cold. I haven't done a Halloween special. Halloween was yesterday, and it's November 1st today. I had a question though. Why is it in our culture we only celebrate the eve of the Day of the Dead? It's kind of weird. So I decided to come out on the Day of the Dead as a way to say, you know what culture? I'm not going to follow your expectations on doing videos on Halloween. I'm coming out on the Day of the Dead to do a, a video of sorts. <laughs> but the real reason why we're out here in the middle of the wilderness in this freezing day, November 1st, is it's the optimal time to harvest Devil's Club for beads. It has been said to have spiritual properties to ward off evil spirits. Hmm. Seems like a good thing to have on you this kind of time of year, doesn't it? We're also going to go out because the the, uh, the spiritual energies are very high in this time of year. We are going to go harvest elder wands uh, from elderberry trees. We're going to take branches and make elder wands. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen Harry Potter. If you haven't, you're not missing much. It's all right. Watch it if you want. Is it? You know what? Well, look at that. It's the Winter Bush Craft Camp. It's Devil's Club. Here. It's right over there. And we're going to harvest that, we're hoping. The ground is really, really frozen. It's like frozen solid. So, I don't know how many roots we'll actually be able to dig up. Probably nothing. But we can harvest the uh, main stem of the Devil's Club. So that would be good. Actually, you can see them from here. I think we'll be fine. That's a lot of material to work with. We're harvesting the uh, Devil's Club to make beads out of. Um, Native Americans used the uh, Devil's Club for spiritual purposes and medicinal purposes. It's uh, Devil's Club is actually known to uh, make your uh, sugar cravings go away. So it's been uh, used for uh, diabetes because it takes away your sugar cravings, which is very interesting. But I'm not harvesting the Devil's Club for medicine today. I'm harvesting them for uh, personal and spiritual purposes. That's what I'm doing. Let's go! Ah! So here's the Devil's Club we're harvesting. Some more over there. It's these stems sticking out of the ground. All their leaves are done, so all the energy is in here. Mainly in the bottom root, but we can't really get the root. So we're going to go for the stems. Stems are good too. All the energy, these stay for the winter and then they grow back. So they're, they're perennials. They keep coming back every year. And the Devil's Club has these nasty thorns on them. Which, when pricked, the wounds can fester for a while. It makes like little bumps that are nasty. So I got these gloves. We're going to need them. Oh, well, we got me wee little Leatherman. Night Knife. Knife. And I'm going to proceed to attempt to cut one of these. And we have to shave all the spikes off afterwards. Yeah. This is just on the bark, but I can get it right down here. Not as clean cut there, but we can obviously fix it up that's what we're looking for that's big stick. spiky boy that's spiky so, satan stick yep <laughs> we'll cut a bit more and then we'll shave them yeah there, i've seen a few mushrooms but like not really much at all that's a nice one there's a flower on top we still didn't finish the crown of that fucking shelter Shaven. These are all pretty. Yeah, this is nice. I don't know if you can just peel it. Not really. Maybe if you get one started, you could peel more of it. Yeah. Oh. 
I was gonna sing a tune, but then I realized it was copyrighted, so I was just. <laughs> this is uh, the Devil's Club after it has been mostly shaven off the worst parts of yeah, the, the uh, spines. Um, it's very nice. Uh, it's got this nice bright kind of finish on the inside, and it does definitely feel like wood. It feels just like a branch, like a stick, like uh, like. A, like a stick, you know what I mean? Um, I poked myself. Uh, cool. So uh, these can be used as wands, if you so desire. Um, that is what some people use them for. Um, I'm sure it got the name Devil's Club for a reason. So uh, yeah, use them for wands. I'm probably gonna make some wands and sell them and claim that magical properties even though I don't believe in magic <laughs> oh, smells amazing too they do they but, smell um, really great yeah you can also use these for beads you can make Ow. necklaces you can cut them into beads and they're kind of like pithy in the middle yeah. so you can make them into beads and I have a very spiritual easy. necklace to wear they're to keep away the evil spirits up. we're heading to get some elder ones now. elder Wand. Elder. You can make wands out of the elder branches. We walked a ways and we found a frozen crusty, well it's not really crusty, it's just done for the winter, well for the season, getting ready for the winter. It's done. It's done. That's what it's I'm trying dead. to say. It's Death. Death. Destruction. Death. Decay. The day of the dead. Yes. So we are going to harvest wands so we can cast magical spells. to be stories over in Europe that long was told time ago. about this plant a long time ago that if it was told the children if they slept under this plant the elderberry tree their soul could be taken away by this tree it's very Not the slender man but it could be could be the spirit of slender man lies in the roots of the elderberry bush Proven on some wild things. And he lies to your children. <laughs> and he lies to your children. Chill out night. All right, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Woo, spooky, scary sticks. I know it's not scary, but in light of the season, the cold, the death, the day of the dead, Halloween, yeah. all that. We decided to make magical wands so we can cast spells. Because we're into that kind of stuff, I guess. It's spooky. Not a bad, uh, not a bad little. We could obviously collect more if we really wanted to. Do we want to? Uh, is it, oh, is it wise green? to hang around the elder berry bush that long and collect More? pieces of its body? I know we've already taken enough. I'm wondering. I think we might get cursed if we stay long. I think the elder spirit will come for us. Never met never met an elder spirit before, but uh, um, I hear they're quite old. 
I'm grumpy. I don't know why we chose to walk so far. But we made it! Welcome to the end of the video. To the end of our journey. We went out far to find spooky, scary, spiritual, ghosty plants. And we to did. And we did. Now we're going to be safe from the ghosts and ghouls. Thanks to this stick. Thanks to this stick and the sticks we have in our trunk. Be safe. Get yourself some sticks to ward off the evil demons in your attic. This and is how else. magic works. This is how magic works, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe. Use magic at your own discretion and uh, ask a parent uh, before you make yourself a yes, wand because it can be uh, very dangerous. It's true and true. And, and if you do have any questions about uh, any magical rituals or anything related to magic, you can call the extension number 666. Just dial those three numbers um, and uh, whatever answers to the phone, just uh, ask it questions. Yep. So, trust that. Trust it. That's how we learned about the sticks. Um, yeah. The so, sticks uh, are good. Sticks are good for warding off evil sticks. Sticks. They don't ward off these guys, though. Make squirrels. sure. Be safe. Have a good Day of the Dead celebration throughout the rest of this week. Die. <laughs>